Now I'm going to collapse some of these folders so we have less of uh, this panel that we need to have visible. So I'm going to hide those and then just make it a little bit smaller. In a group in there called Wild Curl Brand, we have a series of brand colors that we need to apply to the artwork that's on artboard number two. So I'm going to go to my artboard uh, menu down at the bottom and click on next artboard to make artboard two active. Now, the first thing I need to change is that the uh, heading paragraph style needs applying to the word relax on here. So I'll go to the window menu down the list to type and then choose paragraph styles. Remember from the previous video, we create a style called heading. Well, I'm going to select that text frame, hover over and left click on heading to apply that formatting. I'll then go to the X at the top and close down paragraph styles. I'll click away from the text frame and then I'm going to go to the titles layer and lock it because I don't want to edit anything in that particular layer. And for now, I can always hide it as well because it's not really relevant. What I need to do is focus on the actual artwork that's on this artboard. Now, there will be situations where you are limited in the colors that you can use. In this scenario, a colleague has just informed me that this artwork is going to be used for a poster, but we can only use one color. That's really challenging. So we'll have to change the original colors from the stock image to one that is just a brand of color. So we can pick one from a list in our swatches panel in here, but here lies some of the problems. I need to first of all unlock the background layer because that contains the large rectangle in the background for the sky. And if I then go to select and choose all an active artboard, and then from here, I am just going to take my cursor down to the scroll bar and just pan this to the side. So we can see it nice and clearly with all the artwork still selected, go down to the bottom of the properties panel and click on a button called recolor. When the dialog box appears on screen, if it looks a little different to mine, then it probably is down to the version of Illustrator that you're using. This dialog box was updated in the 2021 release of Illustrator. But if I go down to the bottom of the dialog box and click on the button for advanced options, then it will probably look very similar to your version. And in this view, it will show us all of the colors that are in the selected artwork. It's telling me that the artwork I've got selected here contains five selected colors. That is a slight off white and it's used in the clouds lower down. What this will allow me to do then is go to the colors and change it from auto and set this to be one. And what it does is it collapse all the colors into one item in the list. And then you can decide which new color they all become. But take a look, our artwork is still maintained. It's maintained the, how light or how dark the artwork originally was but it's just using a different color to articulate that on screen. Now at the moment, we need to make sure that we're using actually the new correct color. So I'm going to hover over what is now a color picker, double left click, takes me to the dialog box. I'm going to ignore all these and just go straight to color swatches. And I get a list of all the swatches that are in my swatches panel. One of them, of course, is lumber. I'll click on that and then click OK. And that now applies my branded color to all of that artwork gets around the issue of having to take that original stock artwork and only be able to print one color now resolves that issue by stay on brand. I'll click OK and then I'll click away from the artwork and then I'll turn back on the titles layer in the layers panel. 